everyone and welcome to my channel Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and today I'm going to show you how I organize our family's household binder. In my recent Power Hour video I showed how I was using it to pay our bills and that is the primary thing that I use it for but there's a couple other things that I like to keep in there and several of you said you would be interested in seeing this video so I hope you enjoy it and if you do please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Let's get started. So for this household binder, I chose a pretty large one. I think it's about three or four inches, maybe even bigger, uh, but I needed it to be quite large to fit everything that I like to keep in here. And for the cover, I just printed out this little household binder sheet on some stationery that I had. You can decorate that any way you like, or you can choose not to. On the inside, front cover is sort of a catch-all for me. I just keep various things uh, related to our home. This is actually a cute little printout for if you're making a meal for someone. I have a card that I plan to send in here. These are some labels for our pantry because they do sort of get worn out on some of the containers that we have, so I have some replacements here. I also use my labor, label maker for those, uh, but these were nice, so I'm keeping these. And some extra tabs for my binder. And anything else that I plan to file, I can stick in here and file later. At the very start of the binder, I just keep some reference sheets. This one is from Goodwill. You can download it from their website and it's a valuation guide. So if you donate to Goodwill, um, you'll know the prices that you can list on your tax returns, things like that. And I have some um, decluttering and organizational sheets that I got from a course that I took one time. It's a really great reference and um, home maintenance checklist um, for the different seasons. And then the first section is the one that I use the most and I just have labeled it house and it's really anything that pertains to home maintenance, bills, things like that. And so again, I have one of these little, you know, dividers that has a sleeve. So things that I want to file or keep, I can have a place to put those until I have time to do it. And I took the ones out that we have just to maintain our privacy, but this is um, a business card sheet and you can get these like at Staples or Office Max, or I'm sure you can order them on Amazon. But anytime um, I have a card from say a repair or some service that we use related to our home, I'll put them in here. And that way, if I need to call them again, I have that information handy. Now this is really what I call the meat of the binder. Um, so again, the one that I'm using right now, I'm not showing you, so this is a blank one. So I would start this in January and I would put the year and then I will list each and every bill that we need to pay each month. And that way I don't overlook anything, especially because we do a lot of our bills online now. And so I don't have that paper reminder that a bill is due and I don't wanna miss one and I can be quite forgetful if I don't do this. So it really helps me out. So I'll list the name of each bill and then after I've paid it for that month, I will check it off. And that way it's very easy for me to see if I've overlooked something or you know, I can even put a date by something if I need to make sure that it's paid by a certain date. And all these tabs are for most of the bills that we have. And we do, I do print out some bills and I keep track of them in there as well. So that's what all of those are. And that's why I have the extra tabs in the front. The next section that I have is for coupons, and I just cleaned it out so I don't really have much in there now, but I've got another one of those pockets. Um, so I will slide coupons in there, and then if I, before I go shopping, I can grab them quickly. I don't do a lot of grocery store couponing, uh, but for things like um, Bed Bath & Beyond, I like to keep those coupons, and so I will put them in here, and then I will transfer them to my car, which is where I really store them, um, so that when I'm out, I'll have them handy. I also have this section for medical things and again I have a bunch of um, cards and those little um, business card holders in there for different appointment cards things like that and I have this menu section which I'm using less and less since you can look up things online but I've kept it in here because there are a couple places where I have some paper menus that I just like to hold on to that we can check especially because I need to be reminded of say things that my son can eat at a certain restaurant because he is gluten and soy free. So that's a nice place to keep those. And the last one is our travel 
section. So lots of times we will order airplane tickets online and I will print them out and keep those printouts in there and we can just keep track of anything to do with our travel. So that's pretty much it. I, like I said, the main part of this binder is this house section. That's the part that I use almost on a daily basis to keep track of all of our bills and make sure I'm on top of everything. I'm sure that there are plenty of other sections that you can add to this notebook depending on what's happening in your family. My boys are no longer in school or they're in college now, so I don't need to keep track of papers and things like that. But when they were younger, I did use my notebook very often to put any school papers that needed signing or just reminders about field trips anything at all like that, this would be a great place to have a section and keep that information. Well, that's pretty much all to my household binder. It's very simple and you can certainly add or subtract sections to it if you like to keep track of other things in there. I also use my Erin Condren Life Planner and I will link the video for that so that you can see how I organize meals, um, our day-to-day -day activities, our calendar, and even my cleaning in there. I also use my phone and laptop for various things, so <laughs> it's hard to keep track of everything that you need to sometimes as a wife and mom. And these are just the tools that I have found work best for me. So hopefully you found something that is useful for you, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.